Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel Ben is Running. Today I am going to be reviewing these shoes that have been sent to me by Fitville. Um, they're called the Rebound Core, um, a slightly wider um, maximal cushion sort of casual running shoe. Um, this is what they look like out of the box. Um, so yeah these shoes have been sent to me today. Um, I'm going to be giving them a little bit of a review. Yesterday I'd I had quite a, a big track workout, um, so my legs are feeling a little bit beaten up today, so I thought what better way to try these um, maximal recovery type shoes out on one of my recovery runs. So this morning I'm going to be going for 45 minutes, nice and easy, um, outside of my local area, and then this afternoon I have a home sort of gym workout, which I'm also going to be wearing these shoes, um, and I think I've got a feeling they might be quite good shoe if you're looking for something that's comfortable um, to maybe do your warm up before a gym workout. Um, for me when the gyms were open again I'm definitely going to be trying this shoe out in the gym um, as well as on my easy recovery type runs. I've gone for the grey um, version and they've sort of got a suede type upper, more of a casual style um, sneaker and then they have this rebound core um, sole here um, quite a lot of rubber on the bottom so they're going to be very durable um, and yeah then there's the rebound core in here so this bit is nice and squishy whereas the outsole here is quite firm and hard um, so yeah good high, highly durable shoe designed for slightly heavier runners I believe and this one is the in a wide fit so I'll see how I get on with putting it on foot So I'm out in the Fitful Rebound shoes. My first run in the shoes. First impressions are nice and comfy. Um, a nice wide fit, especially in that toe box. Um, so my feet have got plenty of room to move. The ride is a little bit on the firm side, um, which is unusual for a maximal cushioning shoe, but I think that's because there is quite a lot of um, rubber on the bottom so they're they're coming along a little bit on the firm side um, and there's quite a lot of room this is my first impressions so far run in these shoes. It's very windy, apologies if the sound's a bit, um, a bit dodgy. So yeah, first 10 minutes. Um, the shoes are definitely feeling quite a wide fit. Um, and if I'm honest for me, slightly too wide. Um, my feet are moving around a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of heel slippage. Um, but they are feeling very comfortable. Nice and plush running shoe. Certainly um, plenty of pushing in for this sort of easy recovery type running. Um, another thing I'm noticing because they are quite a wide shoe is they feel a little bit on the flat side and um, I'm used to having shoes with a bit more of an offset so last night I was running on the track in the Nike Next Percents which obviously a completely different shoe made for a completely different purpose but they have an eight millimeter drop Whereas I feel, I'm not sure what these have, but I would think it's around about a four millimeter drop. So a lot less aggressive. Um, but for this sort of jogging pace, I think I'm running at around five minute 50 at the moment per kilometer. Um, I'll put it up in miles what it is. So just nice and easy jog. And the shoes do feel really comfortable, but slightly on the flat side. 
So I've just turned left off the road. Now we're onto a bit more of a trail um, type environment. See how the shoes hold up on this sort of uneven, I think it's the corner of the field. Um, they're very plush shoes, so I can't really feel any ground contact, which is really nice, especially on a recovery type run where I wanna <coughs> sort of look after my legs a little bit, aid the recovery process from the harder effort of last night. Uh, so yeah, I think these shoes are also quite good for easy running on the trails. And um, they've got plenty of grip on the bottom, not slipping at all. So yeah, I think initial impressions on the trail is these can handle it. So I just finished my 45 minutes active recovery run, 9.3 kilometers at five minute kilometer pace, which is around about eight minute miles, just over uh, five miles, I believe, in these shoes. So I'm gonna get in, um, have some food, and I'll give you my first impressions review on these Fitville Rebound Core running shoes. Okay, so my first impressions of this Fitville Rebound shoe. Firstly, thank you to uh, Shane at Fitville for sending me this over um, to review, to have a go at um, wearing. It's a very comfortable shoe and I enjoyed my run in it this morning, so thank you very much. I'm gonna be using it moving forward and I'll go into that a little bit more in just a second. So I thought I'd go over some of my likes and dislikes for an honest review. So my likes were, it's a very comfortable shoe. As soon as I put it on, it's nice and plush in the tongue, in the heel, um, nice and padded, and your foot fits really nicely in the shoe. Visually, it looks quite stylish, so it's certainly a shoe you can also wear to the shops, uh, out into town, say to do some shopping. It's quite a nice looking shoe. Another thing I enjoyed about the shoe is it's um, nice and cushioned. So it's got a thick sole on it, you, there's no ground contact feel. Um, and yeah, that made for a really nice um, running sensation, running feel, especially on the trails. And finally, it's durability. It seems to be pretty damn good. There's a nice amount of rubber here on the bottom, on the outsole. Um, so for a 68 pound shoe, um, it seems to be quite durable and I'm expecting it to last quite a long time. Um, for my easy type recovery runs. Moving on to my dislikes. Um, so I did want to make this an honest review. This shoe was sent to me, um, but I'm gonna be completely honest. For me, the shoe is a little bit on the heavy side. So I did chuck it on the scales and it became in at 365 grams or 12 and three quarter ounces, I believe, um, which is a little bit on the heavy side. But again, for my easy type runs, I don't really mind um, I wouldn't really be wanting to go on a faster, say, tempo type effort because this shoe might feel a little bit on the clunkier side. For me, unfortunately, it was a little bit on the wide side, um, so this is a shoe designed for people with wider feet. I don't really have wide feet, so I felt a lot of room in the toe box and in the heel, so I had a little bit of, um, my foot was moving around a little bit in the shoe. And finally, they felt a little bit too structured for me. Um, I prefer sort of a neutral type running shoe, whereas this was quite, is quite a structured um, shoe, so it felt like it was um, controlling my foot strike just a little bit, uh, making my feet land a little bit on the flat side. But other than that, I really enjoyed running in the shoe. So who is this shoe um, designed for? Who is it going to be good for? Um, I would recommend this shoe to people with slightly wider feet. I would recommend it to somebody who's looking for an affordable shoe at just £68 or $80. US dollars. Um, you definitely get a really good high quality product for that price and you can go for runs in this shoe, you can walk in this shoe, you can go to the gym. So it's a nice versatile shoe. Um, so yeah. That's my first impressions review of this shoe. 
Again, thanks to Fitfield for sending this over. If you want to go check out the website, um, have a look in the link description. I've left a, um, a link to this shoe here. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you with another running shoe video soon. Thank you very much. Thank <music> you.